Ladies and gentlemen, my clients would like to make a short statement that I will read for them. On September 27, 2015, Richard Hutchison, who's standing to my left, better known as Hutch, was confronted by a group that had not once, twice, but three times uttered racial slurs at his residence. Being a school administrator, he had attempted to use this as a teaching moment and let them know that it was not okay to use those words ever. One of the adults in this group of six uttered the words freedom of speech. One of the others started a physical fight. Hutch called for his son, Hurl. Hurl Beecham arrived. It was immediately apparent that this was going from bad to worse. This attack was not going to stop. Pearl was punched, kicked repeatedly, thrown by the members of this group. He returned to, with a gun to find Hutch unconscious, laying on the ground. While Hutch was unable to defend himself, two of the assailants admittedly were hitting his convulsing body. Pearl asked them to step back. Both parties refused and continued toward Hurl, who was now armed. Forced by their actions, Hurl, in an attempt to help himself and his stepfather, Hutch, fired one shot. After that shot, the second assailant, who was hitting the unconscious body of Hutch, came at Hurl. The biggest problem with this case is the lack of attention that the assailant's racial aggression was given. Both Hutch and Mr. Beecham have had their livelihood and their lives threatened by a group of assailants motivated by hate. Those assailants now believe, because of the inaction of others, that it is acceptable to utilize this type of behavior. Our community will not tolerate this type of behavior by a small faction. Hutch and Hurl have been surrounded by this Glenwood community that is outraged about their treatment. Our community resonates inclusion, and the community is outraged that nothing more was done to the assailants that have caused extensive physical and emotional damage to Hutch, who is a very peaceful man, his wife, and to Hurl. And in addition to all of that, our community as a whole. Hutch, his wife Randy, and Hurl extend their gratitude to this community and ask that we continue to stand together for what is right and what is just. Thank you.